Welcome to me, Power of this Rampant, and welcome back to my Dominion Wise and God campaign for the Divine Conquer version 5 mod from Medieval 2. We're going to continue left off from last time. We're at this point. Harad is finally dead. I'm so happy about that. So, now at this point in time, um, I now just need to keep giving more land over to the Adonaim, and I'm going to be trying to... I, I should be able to honestly kill Gondor today. If I don't kill them today, I will find that strange, because basically what I want to do is just move all these armies down, if I just, I'm just going to get everybody around there. I'm just going to do that battle. One big-ass battle. Surround and siege that, and we'll easily be able to take them out. I do want to give over Amron and also uh, Tal Al-Jaf. Uh, but we also have to first make sure that I had another fight right here. I want to take Lest first. I want to take Lest before we d uh, give over these territories, just because this army is right here. You will probably try and attack me if I do go through this. And... As soon as I take this, this is when we're going to... Because I, I can get a boat. Um, we'll have to see if it actually gives you enough movement to, to go over here. But we will be able to try and see, hey, can we maybe get over to this island and take it? Because I actually want to keep that territory. So let's do this fight for last first. Uh, just bodyguard. And then they don't have a lot of defenders. Good amount of cav in that army. Reinforcements don't really matter all that much. Just the one army we have here. So, let's push on in here, but at this point in time now, I'm pretty happy with how this campaign is now going. The fact that Harad is dead. I was not expecting to kill Harad that quickly. Harad now dead. Now I can focus on the Gondor. And then once Gondor is dead, I just get to freely push into Dornwinian from the south. Like, that's I literally just get to do that. Which is going to feel amazing. So, we're going to start to pull in here. Um, I do have siege equipment as well, but I also want to try and see if we can use my... Let's see, I'm going to go to this side. I'm going to go over here. I'll have you go with these guys and the mercenaries, we'll say. So you guys can kind of go over here. Everyone else will stay together on that side. But basically, I'll have you try and break down the gates over here. And then over here... I can wait. Yeah, I, I can wait, because I want them to go to the city center. I want to have it... Oh, you guys are a little too close. Okay. Because then I want to have it so that they'll be on the, focusing on the city center. We'll gather all my forces together, and then ideally just hopefully just kill them all with my range damage. That's my hope. So for right now... How are you doing here? Are you missing? Let's see. How is it damage-wise? A little bit closer. There we go. 27%. Uh, that's a little close. But you are doing just enough. I sadly don't have any wargs in this army, so I'm not going to be able to sneak on in once we get my this uh, gate section down. But hopefully, it's not going to take you guys too much longer. Yeah, it's going to be pretty close. Let's start moving you guys forward up this way. And I do appreciate how there's even more of these mercenaries, because these Faroon mercenaries are not bad. They're decent units. They're they're pretty okay. So I'll probably be trying to grab more of them after this turn at this battle as well get you guys to run a little closer, because someone's coming forward. That is... What is this unit? This unit is... Oh, it's the defenders. So that's the defenders. Gates should have just broken. Yep, gates are down. You guys running on here. Not enough of them have pulled away from this area yet. Now their archers are still sitting there. Cavs are sitting there. Those guys are all just still sitting there. Okay, well, for right now, yeah, you guys run in here. You should be able to easily push through the defenders here. So you guys start trying to fight them. We're far enough away from the walls, and we're not going to take too much damage. I'm going to run you guys in and try and go around the side here. Yeah, because you guys should win this fight. They do have the horse archers, though. They're crossbows, so they have a slow array of fire, at least. But yeah, you guys keep trying to fight there. I think for right now, basically what we're going to do is I'm going to try and sneak my skirmishers in. I'm going to have you, try and have you guys go over here. And basically, I'm going to try and have you guys go to the city center, take out the general's bodyguard, and then just ca start capturing the point. Because for right now, you guys should win this fight as long as you don't take too much damage from the ranged uh, shots. So that way I can then have it so that the mercenaries are the ones that throw their lives away and not my own men. Okay, I'm going to start moving my forces forward here now. Because at this point in time, I'm about to get on to the city center. So as soon as we get to there... We're going to start being able to actually do some good damage to the General's Bodyguard. Take him out. But they're also going to try and turn around, probably, and bring their troops over. 
Because for right now, we've been able to take out 18% of their army. So you guys are there. But yeah, I'm pulling out. I'm just going to have it so that I'm going to immediately just focus down the High Paladins. This is a good enough unit. I don't feel bad focusing all my ammo onto them. They don't have the city center right now, so that's okay. But they should start pulling back, I expect. Yeah, we're just going to be sitting back here with my crossbows. Yeah, you try and just kill the general's bodyguard. Hello. He's also on this side, too, so he might die in the first volley. Come on. Did you fucking miss him? You fucking missed him. Oh my god. Ah, uh, okay. Crossbows, could you also provide some fire? That had to have killed him. No, it didn't. Okay, save your ammo. Crossbows, you want to finish him off? Our men are in command of the yeah, start focusing him down. It's one system. guy. Finish him off, because then once he's dead, they'll be breaking a lot easier. They're not pulling back here yet. Actually flanked us with their pikes here. Not the best, but that's okay. Because at the moment I'm just having you guys rush on up here. Let's see. There's the enemy general. So he's now dead. We now have the city center. Crossbows, you guys can now just start unloading into people. If they start blobbing up around you, I will start taking you out with Zagar. So I'm starting to wait and see if they like pull forward into a nice big blob around here. But you know, you guys, I expect them to start pulling away from here. Let's get more of you guys to push forward here. Ah, oh, that tower man. I want to just ignore that. Just use the ladders. Use the ladders there. Uh, you're being shot at, so throw shit at them. Which was the horse archer. The horse archer is this one. So throw stuff at these guys next. They've lost almost half their army now. Okay, you're out of ammo. I'm now going to pull you back. So focus on the skirmishers. Get Cigar behind my units now. These guys are still fighting. That's fine. You guys are trying to break the gates down. Hey, you guys are winning against them on the walls now. Yeah, Cigar, just pull back here. Behind my men. Let them just keep firing, because as long as they just keep sitting here shooting things, like we're going to do some pretty good damage. Yeah, you guys are good there. Just don't fight me, basically. Just, just sit in the middle and let me shoot you. And that's all I ask. Because, like, yeah, the gates are open now. You guys can start trying to make your way over here. Of uh, these forces, actually. Go try and regroup and help out over here. So you three go over there. Everybody else is going to go towards the city center, basically. So that way we can have it so that right now, all of you guys... What? Are you, no, no, no. <laughs> the gates are open, you idiots. The gates are open. You do not need to use the ladders. Use the gates. Make your way over this way. Push on forward. And then if you just help out over here in melee, then I think we'll be done. Alrighty. There we go. So, Lest is now going to fall to us. Uh, this will be the last territory we can give over to the Adonai right now, at least. So, what we'll do is, I will try and see. Because I was sieging this territory, so I think we have my full movement right now. So I should be able to push out and hopefully have enough movement to get over to the island. That's my hope. Otherwise, we may have to wait until next turn. Because if I grab the ship too early, it could also be sank. And I need to make sure that we can at least get to the island, take it. Because, well, we could hold this city for a turn, but then I might be sieged by that other army. Because then I could have them, like, sit in the port. Because if we do that... Together. Let's see. None of those guys can merge in this army. Okay. So basically what we want to do is I'm gonna take you out. I have a lot of movement. So I wonder if there's two different types. But yeah, boat. Grab the boat. Wanna grab you guys, and I'm gonna start storing the extras in this army. Throw this crossbow over here, possibly. Yeah. Come on, let's sleep grab the cell sword. Okay. Now, do I have enough movement? Just barely. Hell yeah. And I technically do you have enough movement to get sieging the city. And we can now take this this turn. This is now ours, and I will actually hold this territory. So let me first give over those territories over to the Adonai first. Uh, you. Try and catch up, basically. All of you try and catch up. 
But for right now, let's go back down here and then talk to my buds. Hello. Happy to deal so with I want to give you guys friend. land. So I want to give you less. These three right here is what I want to give you. So give you that. How could we an honor and a pleasure? Oh, that's Farewell. Beautiful. Slowly but surely, the entire map is just becoming black and gold and black and silver. I love it. And also, you guys, like I, sadly, am not getting this money from here, but you guys now are. So, you guys should hopefully start doing better financially. Because I'm just curious. So, if I look at the Adonine, and then uh, I'm going to compare it against Jordan Wayne for right now. Yeah, you can see, like, the clear difference there. Voluntarily, production. Yeah, territory, they've just skyrocketed in terms of territory. Production? Yeah, their production's going up. They're doing things again. That means their money should be improving in some regard, at least a little bit. The Adonai are almost now more powerful than the forces of Dornwinian. And Dornwinian was one of the most powerful factions for a while now. Also, I find it interesting that... We did only have 130 turns that I still have to actually kill Rohan and Lothlorien. I still need to do that. Because I've got 87 regions right now. But uh, let's do this fight here for uh, the city here. Because this, we want to control ourselves. So, hello! Also, if we lose this, uh, Zagar's dead. And he'll have to wait to be respawned. Which we do not want. So, we'll take this. And then I'm probably going to have Zagar chill for a bit. I want him to actually hold this territory. We could wait until those reinforcements that were uh, that were left behind uh, get back over here. They could maybe then watch the city for us. But I do feel like we're going to want to wait, basically, and kind of try and have it so that we can build this area up a little bit and then uh, eventually move out of here once we've been healed up. Also gives me more time to try and get more uh, units of um, ships around here. Because the bigger the fleet I have around here, the better. But yeah, let's start the battle. Get you a little bit closer, break down the gates, and then ideally, once they focus their turn. Oh, there's. Wait, when he's close enough? Shit, 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 shit. Okay. I did not realize one of you guys is close enough to turn that tower on. Okay, so you guys are good. Because otherwise, if that if the if these ballistas were destroyed, I technically lose, and then Zagar would have died for nothing. Oh god. Okay, yeah, just break that down, please. They're pulling away. So basically what we'll do is I'll probably have the cell swords. You guys like go get them to open the other section once we can get in here. Come on, do not run out of ammo. Do not run out of ammo. Do not run out of ammo. You should be okay. You should be okay. So let's move you guys up here. So move on forward. Gates are almost down. And then ideally just I don't even need these troops because I really shouldn't. Because basically we'll have you guys run forward. You try and run over this way towards the other gate. I'll hold off on you guys. You're going to want to pull back, because they're probably going to be close enough to turn the towers on. Yep. Yeah, so you guys here. Focus on these cab units. Focus on them. You should win against those guys pretty easily, since you've got spears. Yeah, slaughter the cav. Push on through these guys. Are going to bring all their troops over here? I'm going to hope not. I hope you can, my uh, cell swords can get through. Because if you guys can get through, if they're going to blob up enough around here, I might just bring Zagar up so we can just throw some grenades at him. Which, they kind of are. Yeah, let's wait a little bit longer. Because, I uh, no, I can move you forward. I bring Zagar up here. They, I think they're literally just gathering everybody. I use another unit. Yeah, if they bring all their defenders up in front of me, I can just throw shit at them. I do have to be careful. The Zagar ballistas might actually... Can you destroy one of these towers? Oh, come on. I don't like how Bliss Towers do so much damage to Nazgul. Get a little bit closer, because you should be safe, like, right here. Yeah, you should be safe right there. Now unload. Come on. Open fire. There you go. Yeah, because if they're going to blob up like this, I can take out a good chunk of their army. And we can just make it a lot easier for us. So yeah, just keep unloading in here. Keep throwing into these guys to make it easier for my men. Keep firing until you're out of ammo. You hit this side. Might not be able to hit that angle just right. 
No. Uh, maybe. That one might have gone through. Mm, no. But we still got like 60% of them are now dead at this point in time. It's literally just the general's bodyguard is the only one left now, basically. Oh, if you... Yeah, also, yeah. Please do shoot my own men. A little closer. That way you're at least kind of safe. Okay, can you throw at any of these guys? It's a better angle for you. Get a little closer. Not too close. You have one more... You have one more shot. Come on, guys. That defender's almost dead. Okay, I'm just gonna pull you back. Just, just sit there. You're safe there. So you won't be shot at. 76% of the forces. The general's bodyguard. Is he making his way over here too? Uh, he's standing here. He's an archer unit, actually. So I don't expect him to make his way over. I probably should uh, grab some of you guys. Yeah, I'll send some. I'll send four of you guys over this way to help out. Alrighty, down to this is the general's bodyguard. So I'm trying to get you guys kind of surround him a little bit more if you possibly can. Because he's got a decent unit. He's got the Alatha Rangers, which is a decent unit. So if you guys can fully surround him, he'll slowly die. So he's at 51 guys right now. Slowly dying. Surround them. And then I have to see if we can get spies around here immediately. Hopefully we can. Because I need to try and convert this area as quickly as possible. Because I'm hoping that I, I want to sit here and actually build this area up for ourselves. Because I've been giving you so many so many territories over to my allies. I do want one for myself. But they might switch tactics and they might just start sailing troops over here to keep attacking me. Which is the main reason why I really want to make sure that we can get some more ships ideally. Because I have just the one. Uh, I, I saw one navy of theirs. I don't know how strong it is. But one ship versus one ship. I don't want to take that bet. So we're just going to hold off and not try and attack them for right now. And this is a um, this is a city, so yeah, I'm expecting us to be able to recruit a spy around here. And thankfully, all of our units are recruitable the same area, so it's fine. So the, the territory also makes actually a decent amount of money. <laughs> it actually does. I love that. Yeah, get some spies. I love how much trade is in this area. Yeah, so I'm gonna start trying to convert this. We're going to get that conversion and then start building up the military stuff as quickly as possible. So get that. Merge them together. And then I'll have you sit here for right now. Right. It's one boat, it's but now I can sit in this area. So I can actually sit here, be safe, and also have to keep checking every once in a while when we can. Honestly, there's only like one more territory that I need to take right now to make it so that um, all of the Winion has lost access to the Sea of Rune, but my allies have access to it. Also, one thing I want to double check. So, yeah, these are just proper rebels. I'm not surprised by that. Okay. Oh, that was just the first few things we had to do. Um, I think that's it for the turn, though, because... I think that was the thing I was saving. Is everybody else... Oh, no, Leofric can move. So, Leofric can move up a bit. You guys still need to keep making your way forward towards more of a Tarth. Let's double check to make sure everybody else has moved. So yeah, you guys have all moved. Oh, you haven't moved. So you need to move forward. Who else needs to move up? Uh, you guys do as well. So there's actually a couple armies I missed. So keep moving you forward. Kamul, I know you guys are sieging this. I'm just going to have you start starting from that. You guys can actually start making your way over to Gondor. So you'll be the first there. You need to keep moving too. So this, is, this little blob of guys just didn't move at all. So I'll, let me go check and see if there's anybody else needs to move. Well... I don't think he's getting his reinforcements. I'm going to try and withdraw from this. They're trying to bully me. They're attacking the other army. These guys are just so dead. Please leave me alone. Oh, they might leave one alone. Are they actually going to stop attacking me? Oh my god, if they actually go through their turn and they don't attack me again, these guys can get away. And I can keep trying to bring them back. Ah, uh, but we're, uh, yeah, so it did go through. Now we just have to fight around here again. So I will uh, hold up again in that uh, second to the last area because I think that's the best area for us to still hold up. And hey, maybe we'll finally kill you this time. No, I actually decided to send their forces forward for once. So it's just one unit. Jim's bodyguard is back here still, though. So I still want to see if maybe we will be able to try and focus him down. Uh, Ballistas for right now, though. I'm actually opposed to you guys. 
try and unload into this Firebeard Warrior. Because the faster we can kill this one guy, unless they bring everybody else forward, the faster we can try and see if we can go focus down just their general. Because they are slowly dying. I don't even need to have you fire. Yeah, they're, they're dying quickly enough just in my infantry. They've been pushed back. Let's now move everybody forward. Or at least just my crossbows and my armor-piercing infantry. Because if I can get you guys... I want to kill this damn bastard. I don't want him getting away this time. So crossbows, everybody move forward. So this guy can slowly start dying. Yeah, crossbows start hitting those uh, broad beams. Try and take them out. He's slowly dying just in my infantry. Come on, guarantee he dies this time. Do not let him get away. He's tried to see us here multiple times, and it's been annoying. So hopefully... He's down to 27 guys now. Crossbows. Yeah, keep doing what you can, guys. Because it doesn't seem like they're bringing up the rest of their army. I think it is because they have crossbows. If they didn't have any crossbows, I think they'd actually bring more of their forces forward. No, yeah, like they're bringing some guys up. So we're actually kind of on a time crunch to kill him. He's down to 19 guys. Broadbeams are almost dead. I'm supposed to be firing on these guys. Don't shoot the Jones bodyguard. Let my, let my infantry handle them. Because they only have 13 guys left now. So if they die, then we can pull back and just hold the one spot we were at. The bitch ran the fuck away like a coward. God damn it, guys. Okay, ignore these guys. Trying to run around the other side. Because he's just running away like a little bitch. So just ignore these guys. If they want to go fight me, they can. I want to try and get back around. I want to kill that general's bodyguard. So if you guys want to go fight me, you can go into the city center and do that. I'm not trying to fight you around here, though. I'm trying to see if I can just go around and just get to your general's bodyguard. And they cut off my escape to my route to get to him. So these three units are probably going to be dead, but that's fine. We almost killed him. <sighs> It'll be next time at least. Well, we were able to do a little bit more damage. Still annoyed that the, gen uh, the general got away. <sighs> he was so close. We really had one guy left, and my crossbows just couldn't get him. Crossbows couldn't get him. Infantry couldn't get him. He'll be back, though. He'll be back. And here these guys finally come for under towers. That's fine though. This is not gonna be hard. It's been a while since you guys have actually attacked me, but hey, I'm okay with this. The more I can whittle down your troops, the better for us. Because as long as we can get this guy here, I just need to make sure you drop their ram. As long as we get them to drop their ram, we'll be able to hold this. Because the siege tower, that'll be destroyed pretty easily. My ballista, if it gets in range, I'll make sure you can provide some support to that. To make sure it dest is destroyed a little faster. Because they are moving up the ramp. If they are still moving it up. Okay. So yeah, you guys, just as long as you can get them to drop it, we'll be fine. So they're not using the ram yet, which kind of concerns me. As long as they don't actually bring it all the way forward, it's fine. But they're not even trying to get it up this way. But they are using the ladders. So that's fine. You guys can start trying to make your way over there. I need to adjust my infantry to get more men over here. But as long as you guys can just hold the ladders. We've already taken out 15% of their army. Lost quite a few myself, but that's because of you. Yes, as long as you just don't move this ram up, we're fine. There we go. Yeah, not bad. Again, it, as long as we get them on the ladders, we can always pretty much defend any city for the most part. Especially with the Divide and Conquer, where you can actually knock down the ladders. But there, did some good damage. We'll survive around here once again. We'll try and retrain whatever troop speed can. Now, please let me get back to my turn. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping, with me finishing off Harad... I'm hoping we can now start just kicking down the dominoes of more and more factions dying. The more factions we can kill off, the less I have to defend, the less I have to do deal with each turn. And hopefully, with me doing uh, giving more land over to the Adonai, I'm hoping slowly but surely they decide to start helping me too. Because that'd be great. I would love if they would actually take out uh, more land themselves. I don't think they're at war with the... Oh, you can attack for us, Erin, too. God damn it. You guys have a worse chance than the fucking dwarves, though, so I don't think it's gonna matter here, because, like, you, you guys... No. <laughs> if you had an army that mattered, I'd, maybe I'd give a shit, but no. No, no, no. Especially when you consider their captain literally just died already. Like, guys, you're gonna do way worse than the dwarves. The fact that he's already dead means you guys are gonna probably already start breaking. Like, before, I against the dwarves, I've been killing, like, what? Fourth their army before they even get to the gates? What's it going to be for you guys? Okay, so you guys ended up losing about 20% before they actually made their way fully in, which is kind of interesting. I ended up killing more of the dwarves before they usually get here, but hey, now, Nazgul, please do your thing, where we can just slaughter the rest of them. 
Because they were at about 20%. Yeah, there's a 22% dead. Push forward a little bit more. Oh man, they're already breaking? No shit. <laughs> God, I love the Nazgul. Giving the Naz giving the one ring to Isengard, honestly, I think is the more fun way than giving it to Mordor. Like having Sauron, he's a disgusting general's bodyguard. He's so fun to use because his ability, his scream, is so fucking broken. But the fact that I can have like mini Naz uh, mini Saurons all over the place, and I get to they have a way stronger attack than um, the normal counterparts. Oh, it's just great. Like, oh no, you guys are trying to get in. <laughs> I lost 2% of my armor for this. There we go. Uh, don't ever change, Witch King. As soon as I'm going to be able to get him the fuck out of here, though. Because now with us pushing so many forces towards the Dunedain, I will eventually be able to move out of Fornostoran. Honestly, there's a lot of the troops I'm sending that are kind of around Bree right now. I can send one of them over here. Or actually, I should just send those armies over this way so somebody can take over watching over for an SRN, but then I can use the Witch King to actually go on the offensive. That's not a bad idea. I want to put most of my attention into the Dunedain and focus them down first, but it wouldn't be bad to try and focus down Edenwaith a little bit more. Because let me remember to go back here. Need to get Oh, you guys are already retreating. Perfect. But you know, so there was... Cause I've got all of you guys. got the men over there. Send you to Athlon first, or I could send you over here. And Numenos hasn't been attacked in a while, too, actually, now that I think about it. I do need to take this out, but I, I really do want to take the stuff on the mountains first. So we'll have it so we'll keep pushing my way over here. So let's keep making my way. Uh, let's go towards Athlon next. So you can go there. You guys as well. So send three armies there. You guys, because this one's a full stack army, I'm actually going to be sieging that one out for a bit. More of a Tarth, though, I should actually be able to push on in pretty easily. So you guys make your way over to more of a Tarth. Keep making your way over there. And then going back over here. Again, let me make sure get another spy. Because you need to get those, start the conversion. And then I just need to occasionally keep checking if there are more mercenaries. Which, at the moment, there are none. Okay. But now I can bring these guys over here. And I might have it so... Let's see. Let's first bring you. There's no fort here, but set up set a shop over here. I might have these guys be the ones that watch over the city. And I could at least try and hit Mistrand. I could try and hit Mistrand next turn. I keep trying to push over that way. These armies need to all just keep making their way over towards the forces of Gondor. So let's keep making our way down here. Because I just need to take out this one city and then Gondor's dead. Then all of these armies are going to make their way forward, and they'll just start pushing up here. Like, honestly, oh, this isn't nearly as much as it did before. That actually might be one of the last cities we focus on. Because what we can possibly do is basically, we'll probably just try and, like, walk past these armies. I guess they're sieging here again. Because basically, once I get Saruman ready, I can just keep pushing up, 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 up. Connect all the way up here. We're not a war deal yet, so we probably ignore them. And just take everything else... Around over here. I'm still surprised you guys didn't attack me here. So, like, you... Uh, keep trying to make your way up around this way. I have to split them up, sadly. So, you go there, you go there. Keep trying to make your way up. And then also, there was another one of my armies here that I think you can go for Dorthalu. So, you can try and make your way over there. This guy also keep trying to regroup. So, I'm trying to send more reinforcements over to him. But at least now that we have this one little territory, it'll be easier for me to just recruit troops myself around here. And I think I'm going to kind of do a similar thing, actually, with uh, Erebor. I would love to have it so that uh, Erebor... Actually, I can maybe just say these three. Like, Erebor, Dale, and Eskaroth. Those might be the territories I control around here. And then I basically give all the other land all to my allies, just so we at least have some little areas of my own. So we can try and do that. But yeah, these guys Sleepy need to keep sending you over here. Because I have so many armies around here. Gondor is not going to be able to stop all this. So as soon as we get Saruman over here, I'll have him lead the assault. And we will fight that battle ourselves. And then we should be able to... I might be able to lure them out, depending on like what they do with these armies. Because there's six armies at least here. And there's like, what, a stack and a, yeah, a stack and a half almost. So you guys need to keep making your way over this way too. And then I need to remind myself, who are the Adonai at war with? So right now, 
They're at war with Gondor and the High Elves, and that's it. I wonder if I could convince you guys to go to war with the forces of Dornwinian. Probably not right now, but I'm hoping that we might be able to do that at some point. Just so we have a better way to try and keep pushing through you guys. Let's see, you need to keep making your way up as well. Because for right now, we're just bringing a shit ton of armies up this way. So you keep making your way forward there. I do need to keep trying to retrain the forces in these areas. Are they still sieging us over here? They are. How many turns do we have? Five. I respect my enemy. Technically, they might decide to just starve me out. If they do, that's going to suck. But I think it's okay. Because I'll just have it so that you guys take the city back. For right now, like, us distracting the elves is just as good, honestly. So I'm pretty okay with that. So I'll just keep sending more forces forward. I honestly have so many armies. I, I do think I should send some of you guys over here. At least... No, I'm, I'm going to leave him over there for right now. I want to finish off the Dunedain. So let's keep sending all these armies up here. Honestly, there's so many of you, it's hard to keep track of all of you guys at this point in time on, like, who is going where. But we at least have it so that for right now, like, we're sieging uh, Nashalagla. I have men going towards Athlan. i try and send more over to Morvatarth. And then once we have Morvatarth, we can push on into Mount Graham. So, almost forgot about these guys. So, I'm going to leave behind one of you guys, since I don't have enough movement for that. But, now, I'm going to move my fleets up. And I'm curious, so we're not going to do this this turn. But, if you don't... Oh, actually, how much movement do we have? So, we do not have that much movement for you, nor you. Depending on what you guys do, the High Elves might die next turn. Maybe. I have to get lucky. I have to get lucky. If you move this army slightly further away, I could take that. Also, wait, do you... I don't think so, but it's worth good to check. <gasps> Holy shit, he's Night Fighter. Oh my god, I just need to make sure that Forlond has like nothing in it, and then I can actually have Mogash here take Forlond. Oh, I'm hopeful for that. Here they come once again. So you guys have a ridiculous amount of cav. There's no way how you guys win this. The only way you guys win this is if you somehow open the gates by some miracle, which should be very unlikely given the troops I have in here. So I think we'll be fine here, Literally, they just have two pieces of artillery. Probably be siege equipment. Literally, just the ram and the siege tower. The siege tower I'm gonna ignore. Honestly, the ram might be destroyed before it gets to the walls. That's kind of what I'm hoping, because I'm just sending all my wargs over here, trying to destroy the ram and kill these guys that are fighting here. If you guys want to make your way forward, that's fine. Like, I just need to try and destroy this ram. It's like, yeah, I keep trying to destroy that ram there. I think you guys can pull back for right now, because we just need to make sure they don't get the ram forward. As long as they don't do that, it should be okay. Let's pull you guys back here. Let's go back around over this way. Because it's at 10% damage, so it's taking some damage. But yeah, pull back for right now. Yeah, they're trying to focus on... Yep, there they go. They're turning back around. That's kind of the reason why I decided to leave my pikes down here. So my pikes can kind of watch over the gates. There goes the enemy general. So yeah, you guys kind of just, just get set up over here, because they might get through. If they do, I've got you guys here to hold. This tower might be able to destroy it. Come on. I'll try and bring my wargs back around, because we need to do at least try and buy a little bit of time. So that we can kind of distract a little bit more. We've already taken out, I guess, 17% of the enemy army. 35% there for that. God, they have so many cab units. Okay, well, since they're not going to be up on the walls anyways, I can get you guys down here to help out over this way. Need to adjust a little bit. Get the Ulrichs down at the walls as well. Same with you guys. And you. I'll leave some men up on the walls, because I do want some guys up there to try and just keep the towers active. Yeah, you can see here they come. So now the question is, their captain's already dead, so I wonder if they're going to break. Oh, some of them are already. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because they lost a third of their army already. We do have to actually fight everybody, which sucks. Uh, ballistas and catapults, if you guys can fire into this area, please do. Please open fire into that uh, gate there. Try and get them to break. Because we have taken out the cap. Yeah, 40%. Oh, yeah, they're dying rather nicely. Oh, yeah, there you go. Artillery pieces. Let's do the fire ammo so I can actually see a little bit better. See how you guys are pushing in here. 
Yeah, the casualties are going up nicely. Like Who are you them. shooting at? Oh, you're just shooting behind the walls. Okay, that's fine. Oh yeah, most of these guys are breaking there. Because I think this blob is broken quite a bit. These guys are having to make their way back around. I'm doing like no damage on my pikes at all. Oh, hell yeah. There we go. So, I wish we would have been able to destroy that ram, but this is fine. We, we basically took like no damage whatsoever. 300 casualties is not that bad. Especially when we're just going to keep replenishing and retraining our troops around this area. So now, we'll be able to have it. So hopefully, they might attack the other city too. They might attack Tharband as well. And I hope not. I think those are the only... Well, okay, no, we're still seized by the High Elves right now. But again, I might kill the High Elves next turn. Depending on how lucky I am. So, if Forlond has, like, nothing in the city, the Elves are dead. If they put the big full stack in the city again, then I'm not going to be able to easily kill them. It's still possible we can kill them, but it's less likely. If they make sure that there's, like, nothing inside the city, though... Let's see, like, right now, if I just try and go over there... I was doing the end turn. I don't think they've done their turn yet, so I don't know if it's going to matter if we'll be able to see. Let's see. Still the same as last turn. I'm just curious. Because if they leave it like it is right now with Forlond, it's a, it's a little bit of a larger army, but I still think we can win that fight. Which, here they come for Th Thorin's Hall. So, this army right here, two generals, nothing too crazy. So let's do this once again. Same setup as before, take these guys out, and then I just have to see, like, what happens. Okay. Whatever happens at the start of the turn, like the, whatever layout they have around Forlorn, determines if the elves die or not next turn. Because I should be able to kill them. Like, if that guy didn't have Night Fighter, we would not be able to do that. But because they have Night Fighter, I can guarantee it, basically. Because honestly, what I'm kind of expecting might happen, depending on how much damage you do to this army, that large force could actually be trying to make its way up here after this. So after we win this fight... The forces that are over around down Forlorn, that large army could just make its way up here. Because if it does that, that'd be perfect. So let's get everybody opening fire up in here. Because at the moment right now, it's just Belissa's. You need to start doing your thing. And then we'll start slaughtering the enemy army. Because yeah, 12% already dead. Depends on how quickly we kill the general's bodyguard on how quickly this battle's going to go. That's where I saw them. Oh. It's the Lords. I think it's the Lords, technically. Let's see. I think it's... Yep. Oh my god, I keep seeing them. Pause that for a second. I could have sworn I saw them. Yeah, these, I think it's this guy. Yeah, these ones. The one with 22 right now. I think you're the general's bodyguard? It's hard to tell. Some of them are pushing forward a little bit. Don't want to see that. But they've already lost two-thirds of their army already. More veterans. I could have sworn to the other war unit. Which that one's already down to 22 guys before I started firing on them specifically. Oh, there's another one. So another one just got hit. Yeah, another one's at 18. Yeah, it's got to be that unit. And there we go. We were able to take out both the general's bodyguards. Not bad. Third of my army died there, but most of those guys we should get back. Yeah, Blissus did their thing. Good. Most of the healing was focused on my normal units. Perfect. Now, please, just move your army away from Forlond. That's all I'm asking. Hey, you guys couldn't win here this time. Just send another big stack. You have another one right outside Forlorn. Send that one. Don't mind the two fleets that are sitting outside of your city. So, they walked the fuck away. Oh my god, this is beautiful. The elves are dead. I, they're just dead. There's, unless something goes horribly fucking wrong with this attack here, the elves are dead. It's entirely possible. It is entirely possible, but... I am attacking this right now, and let's do this. High Lord Edenost, and then we also have High Lord Asuithon the Handsome. Basic, pretty basic army, nothing too crazy. So now let's get on in here and finally finish off the High Elves. Because now with this, with the El High Elves dead, I will now be able to kill Edenweithoff without concern. 
because the reason why I didn't finish them off is I was concerned about pushing in here and then the elves like activating and wanting to attack my territories that I just took from Endway. Because their armies would be able to do a number on me. But now, with that out of the way, I don't have to worry. Now we can just have it so I freely get to push on in and hit Endways and take them out. So for right now, let's get you guys up here. We need to get close enough to be able to break down the gates. I'll tell you guys to be aggressive to you of your own siege equipment. Because even though they have a good army, well, so they could do quite a bit of damage. But as long as I can deal some good damage to my skirmishers, especially if I can focus on their lords first, we should be able to easily take these guys out without too much concern. And then these armies will basically start trying to get rid of Enwaith. They can go for Mithlond, go capture Mithlond. And at this point in time, I don't need to give Adonaim any of the land over here. Now that I'm going to be able to kill the elves around here on my own, I can easily just control this area. But I'll start moving my infantry forward. So you guys start making your way up here. You guys can kind of make your way over here, I guess. And then my crossbows. I'll try and see if I can put you guys over this side. So infantry rush forward, ballistas and artillery pieces. Um, I kind of want to have you guys take out gates, but also if you guys can get some good angles and hit some of these units with artillery pieces, that would not be bad. Just because of elves' high armor, it'd be great to get some artillery shots into them. Because my allies right now, uh, you've broken down the gates, you're trying to break down a wall section before you properly start making your way on in here. So it would mainly be me pushing in on this side for right now. So it depends on what you guys are going to do, how much damage we're going to get in here. Although honestly... <laughs> You guys are already damaging the gates, uh, the towers and everything. I'm just going to destroy them now myself, I say. Let's just get rid of those so they're not going to be shot at. Yeah, because my infantry is making their run in here. Not going to be able to block us. Oh, they're probably going to be able to a little bit. Let's try and get you guys over here instead. Let's try and go over here. Yeah, you guys keep going to the, the right side. Because that way we can try and surround these guys. Because they're going to stop us a little bit. Gatehouse. There's no tower on this thing. There's a tower on this one. And that one's probably too far to not have to matter. Uh, crossbows. I'm actually going to pull you back. Forgot to adjust you guys. Oh, uh, if you're already uh, that far over. Yeah, now pull back. Pull back. Infantry for the most part right now. Try and basically focus on these guys. I might try and break a wall section open. Yeah, crossbows pull back. Try and pull back over here. Let's try and have you guys break this section so we can kind of get inside and flank a little bit more if we possibly can. Or actually, maybe not that side. Instead, I think on this side, actually. Okay, walls are down. Now we're going to move my crossbows in. You guys will then be able to hit them in the back line. Number-wise so far, 11 to 19. Not the worst. My allies have started to push on over here as well. So you guys are starting to pressure them over here. Also, this tower has been shooting on us, so let's actually use the rest of our ammo over there. Crossbows now. Let's have uh, two of you try and open fire to this guy, the Lindar guards, and you try and focus this unit. And focus them down. Because once these guys are out of the way, 1524, then we can start making my way into the city. And trying to see if we can capture the city center. Have I been able to find the drone's bodyguard yet? Hey, he's right there. So artillery pieces, actually. You guys can get into a position to snipe him. Please try to. Yeah, because crossbows right now. We're almost done with these guys. Got a couple bowmen over there. A couple Sindar archers over there. We're not going to care about them. We're going to focus our attention specifically onto the city center. Yeah, because like, these guys are dying quickly. If I see the drone's bodyguard move closer... I'll have to try and take them out. Alrighty, the generals are starting to move forward. Move my crossbows off to the side a little bit. I'm going to try and have you guys unload on them. My allies are actually pressuring the city center. Uh, you're actually attacking one of the general's bodyguards. I will take out the other one. So you guys focus on him. Focus on this general's bodyguard. I think that's the... It's hard to tell which one's the main general and which one's the secondary general. But at least we're both fighting one of them. So to start trying to open fire on them, infantry, need to move some of you guys way over here off to the side and start trying to push forward a little bit. Yeah, can start unloading into him. Artillery pieces, you guys are 
doing nothing. Uh, try and move over here a little bit. Maybe get a better angle. Oh, no, you actually stop that. You're out of ammo. Hey, you guys are about, about out of ammo at this point in time. I don't think we need you. I can just pull you guys back at this point. Pull you back. Crossbows. Let's see. Is he already almost dead? Holy shit. I love my crossbows. <laughs> yeah, so he's now down to 15 guys, so keep firing it onto him. Because that's one Jones bodyguard. How's the other one holding up? The other one? Oh, the other one's holding me really nicely. Yeah, so keep trying to fire on him. Yeah, you guys keep trying to fight him. Oh my guys keep trying to get into melee with these defenders. And into the archers over here as well. Yeah, Jones Bonagar's down to four guys left. So I'm going to move uh, these two. Let's kind of get you up around here. And then I'm going to have you try and help out my allies and help to get rid of this other Jones Bodyguard. Because these two should be enough to take him out. Let's see, he's almost dead. He's right here. Here he is. He's down to three guys. So finish him off. You two try and focus on the other one. Because he's currently at 33 guys. Number-wise, they've lost two-thirds of their army overall. About a third of our army overall has been taken out, which isn't the worst. He's almost dead. Once you guys are done with them, you're going to switch to the defenders, basically, to help kind of clear that section up. Because my forces so far... Let's see, my allies have taken about eh, 800 casualties. It's not anything too crazy. There goes one. There goes the High Lord. So the High Lord's dead. That's probably the one that was over here. Yeah, I think that's the one that was over here. So you guys try and focus on these Sindar Axemen. You two are still trying to focus on the other Jones Bodyguard, which... Do you start running to a different area? Uh, no, there he is. Yeah, so he's right here. He's at 26 right now. You guys need to adjust a little bit more. So move up there. Let's see. Yeah, he's at 26. Yeah, he's making his way over to us now. So keep firing into him. Because once they're both dead, anybody that's outside the city center should start breaking. That's my hope, at least. Defenders there. Nothing really over here. I see a little bit over here still. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, the bowmen. Yeah, okay, I see. Yeah, you're trying to get the bowmen, so you need to keep trying to do that. And then I think for the most part, it's just I'm just trying to take this guy out. And he's down to 23 now. There we go. Other enemy general is now dead. So, now, we've taken out both enemy generals. Now we just need to finish off the remnants of their forces, which is not too much. They've got 84% have died so far. I'm going to move my crossbows. You guys want to get a little bit closer to the city center, start focusing down people. And now I'll get my infantry in melee here. They just have their skirmishers now at this point. So in melee, they'll still be decent units, but versus my dedicated infantry, we should be able to win slowly but surely. Okay. The High Elves will now be dead after this. I'm pretty happy about that. I'm very happy about that. Because now that means I can actively push and pressure more around just the South in general in this area. Because now I'll be able to have it so like, hey, these guys, they'll set up in Forlon, get it set up, get it so it's happy, but then regroup, make their way over, start pushing into Mythlond. Because instead of being so defensive on this side... Uh, because of worrying about the High Elves doing something, I can now be on the offensive. And then once we get rid of Enwaith around here, we can then push into uh, Ir Luin more too, as well. Because then we'll be striking them from so many different angles that even if the Dwarves have really good units, we know that we can overwhelm them. Yeah. Have leaders dead. But doesn't fucking matter, that was their last city, you fucking cunts. Aha! I love it. But we don't have to deal with them anymore. So now you guys just need to repair those walls, get the conversion, military buildings, get the spies to help convert. But no, at, at this point in time now, it's just going to be... You get back over there. Group up with him. Now we get to have it so that we'll start trying to move these guys over to be able to deal with Mithlon now. Because like that, we could just make my way over, siege that out. Like That'd be great. So I have you keep grabbing some men around here, because basically I want to try and send some men over here as soon as possible. Well, actually, let's see, if I just leave behind the beat-up units, I might be able to move out now. Uh, Happiness-wise, it's fine. Let's get back to Forlond. And then let's grab everybody that's not that beat-up. 
and then I can just take these guys along with me. And this one army, at least, could make their way over. Let's see. Merge you guys together. Who else do I want to grab? You and you. And then I'd like to grab... They have lower armor. And that. So yeah, this, this, ar this army's not bad, so we can just leave you guys there. Uh, Mogash, I'm going to have you start making your way over. You can come back this way. And I'll have you start making your way over to Mithlon, so you can start trying to siege it. But now I'll just start trying to gather forces together to actually go on the offensive around here instead. Because, oh, I didn't even realize I was sieged it. Uh, Michelle Delving, oops. I should be okay, I think. Honestly, otherwise, that could be like what I bring these forces over for, actually. Because I know a lot of you, like, I want you to go over to Athlon here. Like, you make your way over here. I don't need every army. So I could have you and you go that way. I'll have you go here too. I'm gonna have you turn around. I have you turn around so I can have a little bit more help over on the western side. Because now that the elves are dead, I can just do so much more. So you guys will be good there. Um, I can barely get to more of a Tarth. Actually, I should be able to take that like right now. Let's see. So if I go here, I think that was all. Oh yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, a little bit more casualties than I'd like, but more of a Tarth is now under my control as well. Get this stuff. Get that queued up then for uh, some more growth build policy. Get some more spies to hop out over here. But no, now we'll be able to start making my way into Mount Graham after this. So we're not going to be able to kill the forces of Gondor today. Not because, because it's taking us longer to get these troops over here. But I think maybe next episode. Because I'm, I'm right here. I'm, I'm right here. Gondor has just these troops right here, and that's it. And I've got at least six arm. Oh, oh. You can get here, but not everybody else. Oh, I could almost do it, but I just have no cat. Uh, Jones bodyguards to lead it. I I want to have Saruman do this. It's like you guys are here. These guys are getting close. Captain General, so that's the faction air right now. Yeah, so more reinforcements are on the way. But no, I think that'll basically be that'll be next video. Because then at that point in time, we can then turn back around. I do need to make sure to remember to go back up here and retrain stuff. So train stuff. Pair stuff. There we go. Okay. And then you guys actively left me alone around here. Yeah, I can I can easily have you guys like go over towards. You can make your way over to Mistrand. You guys are actually moving your armies out. Did you guys start a war? No, not yet. I wish you did. You're no longer at war with the High Elves though, which is interesting. So now, I'm wondering if you guys will start doing other things. Let's see, because this area here. Oh yeah, it's converting rather nicely. I'll get one more spy. One more spy around there. You need to stay around here, and then we just need to keep checking every once in a while to see if there's mercenaries around here, so I can get more boats. As long as we have those boats, we'll be able to do a bit more, but... I really appreciate where this campaign's now going. Like, this is where now things are going to start speeding up a lot, I feel like. Like, yes, I still am having the defenses against the forces over here. Um, technically... I, I really feel like you guys are just going to siege out Kazdoom East. Sadly. Which is annoying, but understandable given what I've got over here but if I can delay you guys for four turns I'm okay with that because I'll just have it so basically we'll just keep trying to gather more of these men to be able to make their way over and join on in I almost want you maybe to go join on in and help out over there but for right now so many of you are making your way up here to try and keep focusing down the Dunedain but oh I think I think we'll be done for today because we've, we've killed one faction last video and now we killed another faction this video like I don't know I think we can keep up that rate but it'd be cool if we could. Um, well, next video, hey, we're going to kill off Gondor. So that's three videos in a row that'll kill a faction. Um, and then I'll probably get pretty damn close with Enwaith. Honestly, that's the that's the main reason why I should adjust some of where these armies are going. Because if I can start pushing into Enwaith, like go over here and over here, like Enwaith will die. And once Enwaith's dead... I'll help us put more pressure into Ered Lewin and into uh, the forces of the Dune Nine. 
But I will be done for right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. Love hearing you guys have to say about this campaign. Any thoughts you have in general. But this is Rampane. I'll see you guys next time.